Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for the latest episode of Revenge. So let's talk about this episode. Uh, so with this episode, we get to see more of a concentration on David Clark instead of Emily. We do get to see some Emily, but it's definitely David trying to go against uh, Malcolm Black. Uh, so he tries to trap Malcolm Black, doesn't go quite as well, and by the end of the episode, Emily and Victoria are, um, tranked and kidnapped by Malcolm Black, so is he gonna kill them? And one thing I'm very excited about is that they're gonna have to work together to get out of this situation. Other characters, Louise, um, her story is actually developing, seeing that she's not a nut job, and she's starting to grow a, a connection with especially Nolan, and a bit with Emily. So, I would say that her character's become a bit better. Um, she's been a big complaint of mine, and since they've been focusing on her, um, I think she's improved a bit more this episode, which I'll get into a bit more. Um, also, Margot is still upset. It's, oh wait, uh, Daniel did not die because um, because Emily had to kill him for self self defense. Something does not add up. So Victoria tells Margot the truth, and she's like, oh well, that makes sense, I guess. Um, and we have Ben from the police department also find out. So pretty much everyone knows that Emily's Amanda Clark. So overall, what did I think about the episode? Um, I think this episode is definitely more centric to our. Um, our secondary characters and our major characters, Victoria and Emily, are definitely sidelined until the end of this episode. And all three arcs are about our newer characters. David, which obviously is not too new, but technically he is. Uh, David with Malcolm Black, which I think was the most interesting part of the episode. Ben, I don't know if I like him that much. I really don't know what direction they're going with this cop. Um, I think they should bring Charlotte back, honestly, because uh, at least she would have some more emotional beats of what's going on with Daniel. Um, Margo, I'm still not totally interested in her character, but her story in general is interesting because she is a journalist. She could definitely out um, Emily, so will everyone find out she's Amanda Clark by the end? Which I'm happy because honestly, um, I think the show has a hundred times improved because people are finding out that she's Amanda Clark. So I think that's an improvement of the show. Um, but overall, um, personally, I could have used more of Emily, but there are nice twists and turns in this episode, like the cliffhanger, and I will say the reveal of Amanda Clark uh, to Ben and Margot. And also Louise. I think Louise was the pleasant surprise of this episode. Um, I wasn't really expecting to like her story arc at all, but now that she's not actually crazy and she's on the side of Emily and Nolan, um, I'm kind of curious to see where she goes. Is she's my favorite character of all time? No. But um, at least she's a bit more interesting than she was. Like, I felt like she was kind of wasting time in previous episodes where I actually started getting interested in her storyline here, which I think took a lot, and hopefully they go in an interesting direction with her. But next episode, I am super excited because seeing two worst enemies have to work together is going to be a very fun episode, uh, especially with Malcolm Black. So, uh, again, this is a bit of a slower-paced episode, and if you like these newer characters, you might like this a bit more, but... For me, I kind of wanted more of maybe Nolan and Emily um, and Victoria. I know we get them a lot in every episode, but I, I felt like they were a bit lacking in the in this episode, especially Nolan. I think they could have used him a bit more. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, my re my review for this week. Uh, of course, I'll have another revenge review next week. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, in the description below, there's links from my comic book, like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like my daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.